Right. I think this place could be called Otter Hampton. I'm not sure. It's called Otter something. Yeah, I'm in the, a field in the middle of nowhere. And um, I'm hoping this is recording. It's not easy to play back to see if you are recording, you see, either. It's, it's never very clear. But I think the red light is flashing. Anyway, there's a lovely church. Look at that lovely church look. Set in a beautiful, tranquil place, isn't it? Right over there on the River Parrot, I can just see some um, sailing ships. With their sails over there in the distance and it's got a little graveyard I've noticed and um, I'm going to go down and uh, have a look at around the church which I haven't done yet you see because of the drought the farmers are making use of these pipes look at that beautiful cottage over there look in this beautiful place look at that Imagine living there. It's just like a, something out of a fairy tale, isn't it? Cottage like that. Right next to the church. Apple blossom in the garden. That's a real old farmhouse. It's probably had the roof done in the past. But God, look at that. Look at that church, everyone. So if I brought my glasses, I might possibly have been able to see properly with this camera. It's going to be a bit shaky for a minute. I'll turn my bike round. I mean, look at that. Oh, ideal, isn't it? There's another bigger house up there. This might be a private road. I don't know. It says no through. They might just put that up to stop people using it, see? I'm sure that postman came down for here though a minute ago. Look at that apple blossom in the garden. Of course, what you can't capture is the smells of manure. Right, I managed to get into the porch. I've got no idea whether this is open. Oh, yeah. It is. The Church Conservation Trust is a national charity protecting historic churches at risk. We have saved and and care for over 340 historic churches no longer used for regular worship. The buildings remain consecrated, open to all and in use, living again at the heart of their communities. Simply by visiting you are helping to care for this church. Please sign our visitors book as it helps to secure our funding. Oh, look at that lovely little font there, look. It would be a shame. This is really old. This one. Look at, look at that old door. Look, great big lock. Oh, 
which you won't come out on here. To the glory of God, these bells rehung and the tenor recast in 1927, F. Rostron Rector, Church Warden E. Everard and W. Lawrence. Simple. Now look, that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful picture isn't it, look at that. Take some pictures of that in a minute. Presented by R. Guy Everard, Esquire Hill House. Sacred to the memory of Captain Christopher Philip Everard, who fell in action at Coote El Amara, 11th of January 1917. Lieutenant John Guy Everard fell at Uve Chapelle, 12th of March 1915. Also to the men of Otterhampton who fell in the Great War. Balam, Brian, Johnson, King, who was a stoker in the Royal Navy, R.G. King. Parsons, Patch, Quick, Silk. Look at that. So I'm going to donate some money in a minute. I'll just put that there. In thankful memory of Brian Fear, RAF, Douglas Granter, Kenneth McGregor Reed, Royal Navy, who gave their lives in the war. It has been, had some restoration work done on it, you can tell. It's had a bit of, is it grouting or pointing? Yeah, it's had a bit of pointing done. Very plain ceiling, very basic. I just wonder if people still worship here. I think, I don't know if it's a redundant church. I don't know if we can get in this bit. Might not be able to get in here. Might be a way of opening the door without breaking it, I think. Oh yeah, I can just about get through. Oh, look at that, ain't been used for a while, has it? There we are, we've got Walsingham Everard, second and younger son of the Reverend Charles William Henry Everard. Rector of Otterhampton and of Emma, his wife, who died at Stansted, Canada East on the 10th of May 1864, aged 26. That's that one. Jeffreys, different rectors. There's the Ten Commandments. Look. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Lots more Everards up there. I'll take some pictures actually in a minute. Yeah, that's very, very, um, very nice. I'm going to turn off for a minute, folks. I want to, I need to take some photos of this, don't I?